Good morning, boys and girls. Here's Michelle. It's time for some music. We have a song to sing. I um, have to tell you about the story behind the song first, okay? It's about a story in the Bible that tells us about Jesus' death and then his resurrection. Jesus came down here to earth to live with us so he could tell us about who he is and that we should love him and serve him and, and let him live in our heart. So he started teaching all the people that like his father in heaven told him to do. And as he did it, there were some people who just didn't like it. They didn't think he had any authority or any reason he could go around and say that he was the king of the Jews and he was one to be our savior. They thought, who does he think he is anyway? Now Jesus hadn't done anything wrong. He was just obeying his father, telling us about him. So the Jews and other people said, what are we going to do? I know what we can do. We'll just kill him. And that's what they did. They got some wood and made a cross like this and put a wood thing on top of it. And they put it on that cross and he died there. Well, the minute he died, you know what happened? It got really, really black, like a horrible storm. You couldn't see anything. And then the whole world began to shake. At that point, they knew they had made a big mistake, but then it was too late. They'd already killed him. So they took his body, his friends did, took his body to a tomb. Now it's like a big cave with the opening in it so big you could walk through. So they took him to that cave, the tomb, and laid him down. And back then you did that and let, left them there for three days. So after, oh, the, the door, it wasn't a door, it was just an opening in the, in the cave was so big it took a lot of Roman soldiers to find a rock big enough that they could roll it over and hide that opening so nobody could come and steal Jesus' body. So they got it accomplished and sat down and they guarded that all day and all night for three days. And after the third day, uh, his friends came back to go in there and take Jesus' body and put it in the ground like you do for a regular burial. But guess what? That stone that took a lot of Roman soldiers to move it was so big and heavy. It was just just rolled over like a like a piece of paper. And they went in and he wasn't there. Guess what happened? Jesus rose, which meant he came back to life. And he spent the rest of his life in our hearts. And he wants us to remember that the reason he did all this was that he died on that cross to take care of the sins we commit, the bad things we do, and we're sorry for him. And we ask Jesus that we want to tell Jesus we want to repent and ask him to forgive us. So he already did that. So we don't have to get on the cross and die anymore. So that says we should remember because he's our friend and our savior the rest of our life. So our song today talks about that. And it just talks about Jesus said, remember me. So I want you to do two things. Every time this song says Jesus, okay, hold your hands and take one hand and take the tall finger and touch your other hand. And then do the opposite of this, okay? Jesus, okay? Jesus. And then point to here. It's going to say, please remember or I'll remember. So let's touch our head here. We're going to remember Okay, let's see. Jesus said, remember me. Then he died for you and me. I know Jesus is God's son. I'll remember what he's done. Yes, I'll remember. Yes, I'll remember. Yes, I'll remember that Jesus died for me. Jesus is alive today. He rose again on that third day. He watches me from heaven above. I'll remember his great love. Yes, I'll remember. Yes, I'll remember. Yes, I'll remember that Jesus is alive. Yay! Jesus is alive forever. 
So don't forget, we need to remember that Jesus loves us. He's alive and he died on a cross so we would not have to. So until next week, this is Miss Cheryl saying goodbye.